Good morning guys, we have an excitement packed day today. We're going to the farmer's market, our fish we ordered have arrived. Then we're going shopping for our early birthday present. But first, Ashley needs to reconcile with Tails. I'll explain. Today I'm bringing feed out to the chickens. Lately, Tails has been a little aggressive with me. He's been stalking me when I walk around the fence and I want him to see me as a friend, not, not a potential aggressor. So I'm bringing some grains and some of our table scraps from last night. We have some tasty kale and lettuce. And uh, hopefully he and I can get along a little better. The idea here is that if Tails sees Ashley giving him the food, it, she will no longer be registered as a threat in his mind. If, if you're bringing the rooster food, that's not something a predator or a threat would do. We'll see if it works. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. This is the fifth time I've moved their feeding trough now. So they've been in here five days. We're at the beginning of the paddock where it meets the laneway. So tomorrow the plan is to move them to the next paddock. There's a fisherman at our local market. Every summer he and his wife go up to their boat in Alaska and do the Bristol Bay salmon run. They come back with a huge catch. It's obviously all caught in Bristol Bay and processed just a couple miles inland in Alaska and then it's shipped down to the lower 48. We pre-ordered our salmon this year, bought in bulk and saved 10%. And the fishermen are back from their salmon run and have a fresh supply. Grandma here has decided that she wanted to get us an early birthday present, something that would help us on the homestead, a tool of some kind. I thought it, you wanted a screwdriver or something. <laughs> About a week ago I went window shopping for these things and between grandma's gift and we were gonna chip in a little extra, I really thought we would get the DeWalt. It's solid metal, but I had no idea how expensive the stands are that you put the miter saw on. Some of those were almost as expensive as the miter saw themselves. So in order to get both the miter saw and the stand for it, we downgraded a little bit to the Ryobi, which is a little bit more plasticky, but it's gonna cut the wood just the same. I think we'll be pretty happy with this. So that was birthday and Christmas, right? Yes. Birthday no, and Christmas, right? I'm done. <laughs> Thank you, Ma. Just don't cut any fingers off, please. <laughs> Looks like you're getting some soil there, darling. Yes. What's this for? So this is for the garden, and I am going to plant some cold weather veggies. Okay guys, I realize now that I may have overpromised just a little bit when I talked about having an exciting day for you guys today. The salmon's gonna be awesome. We're gonna do some full recipes with that stuff. And thanks to grandma, we got the miter saw, which is gonna enable us to do a lot more projects here in the homestead. 
but I thought I was going to get the miter saw back home and start knocking out some projects for you guys. But instead, when we got back, we got invited over to our new neighbor's house. There's a family that just moved in the next block over. They have a, a son a little bit older than little buddy, so we thought it'd be neat for them to get together. We had a great time. We really enjoyed visiting with them. Little buddy had a great time playing with their son. But that took us all the way up to dinner time and then sunset. So we're out of daylight to work on any projects today. To make up for it, I did talk Ashley into allowing us to crack open the little mini egg that she wanted to keep. My little buddy wanted to say something really quick. What's up, buddy? Um, it's uh, not focused. There it goes. Oh, uh, there was a yellow jacket in the trash. So, oh, and I see it. I see the yellow oh, jacket. Oh, no, it's crawling out. Hey, mommy killed a yellow jacket with scissors. With scissors? Yep. This is Egbert, and we are very curious what the composition of the inside of Egbert is. So we're going to crack him open and see. Well, that didn't work. This is proving to be harder than I thought it would be. This is turning out terribly. Huh? It's a duck egg. It's not a duck egg. It's a chicken egg with an especially hard shell uh, and the tiniest oh my gosh. yolk ever. Oh, wow. Big it's egg. really little. And it's a big egg shell. For scale, a regular sized blueberry. <laughs> I was really thinking there was going to be like a golden I'm, coin. Like a, a ruby in it something or something. magical. Me too. Because it was so little and perfect. No, just a very, very tiny yolk. 